What is up, my YouTube people? I have a battle here against uh, Joey Fontaine, a guy that I battled a few times, um, I believe twice, and uh, this will be the third time. I think I actually battled him in the NGDL once. He was filling, uh, filling in for, um, I think it was Skep in one of the battles. <clears throat> so um, he's a pretty good battler, and uh, we're just going to hopefully have another good one here. There's the teams, and um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about it, uh, except he has some uh, interesting threats. Obviously, McGarren is always going to be uh, threatening. And, um, yeah, let's go see, uh, how this one turns out. So, he's gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and lead with Victini, and he's gonna lead with the thing I didn't want to see, and that's, uh, the Landorus. And, um, I am a Scarf Victini, but I think I decided to switch out anyway here. Um, am I Scarf? I think I am a Scarf Victini. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna switch out anyway, and I do not want to take a hit, so I'm just gonna go in my Manaphy. And I was kind of thinking he would set up Stealth Rocks, so, um, and that's what he does, so that's pretty cool. And I decide to be a little greedy here, go for the Tail Glow to set up. I see the Stealth Rock, so I'm kind of thinking he's either going to U-turn um, or something, and I know that I can set up. But instead, he's going to go ahead and pop his Z-move, which I wasn't expecting, and he is going to actually have the Flynium Z here, and that is going to do a ton of damage to my Manaphy. Thankfully, uh, well, after you see this animation play, I am going to actually live with a few HP, but I do not take that very nicely at all. I, I, that, I could have taken that nicely, but uh, more nicely. But anyway, um, he's going to go into his Megirna, which is good. After a Tail Glow, I have a ton of special attack, and uh, that is clearly an Assault Vest Megirna. There's nothing that should take a Scald that well after a Tail Glow, but I guess Megirna is that Pokemon. Now, here I make a mistake. Um, I decided to go for the rest, even though I don't have the Ring Dance set up. Um, what I really should have done was, like, Ring Dance instead of gone straight for the Scald, because that would have been cool. But um, instead, I just... Uh, <clears throat> go for the rest here, and what I really should have done even after not having the rain up, I should have just went for another Scald, just to get more damage on the Magearna, because that Magearna is obviously really bulky, and I could have actually put it down to, like, low yellow HP if I went, went for it again, and uh, a sleeping um, Manaphy is really not going to help me much. So, um, yeah, he's going to go ahead and pivot into his pincer against my Conkel Dur. Obviously, it's a fantastic matchup for him. I have to switch out, and um, I'm pretty much just going to sack Manaphy, because I know that I probably won't get the two turns it needs to wake back up, and, um, yeah, I need to sack something this Mega Pinsir, because it hits like a truck. And, uh, yeah, there is that aforementioned truck. And down my man if he goes. <clears throat> anyway, so in comes my Ferrothorn, and, uh, Ferrothorn, um, should be able to kind of wall this Pinsir. He might have close combat, but I know I can take at least one. So, um, yeah, I feel pretty safe just going in here. He's gonna go out into his Magnezone, as I just go for a Stealth Rocks, so uh, good to get them out, uh, because Mega Pinsir is obviously X4 weak to them after Mega Evolving, so I'm hoping to uh, limit the amount of times he can switch back in. Um, but unfortunately, the Magnezone switch was kind of obvious, I was kind of hoping he wouldn't, but I really needed the Stealth Rocks up, and um, yeah, that was a great play. And he actually won it, KOs me with Hidden Power Fire, which tells me this is actually a Specs Magnezone. I still kind of feel confident Conkel Dur can come in and take a, you know an unstabbed Hidden Power Fire, since I am Assault Vest. So I'm like, well, at the very least, I can force a switch. He's going to go into Landorus, and I think I just go for a uh, Drain Punch here, which obviously is not going to do a whole lot after the Intimidate and the Resistance, and um, if he has Rocky, I'm going to probably end up doing more damage to myself. I don't believe he does, though. So, uh, yeah, so at least there is uh, that. He's going to go for an Earthquake, though, and I'm just hoping to live, because I would really, really like to get an Ice Punch off on this guy. Thankfully, Conkel there is going to be Clutch. I'm going to be able to take down this annoying Landorus, and uh, at least I'm going to be able to do that. So, oh wait, no, I don't even quite do that. He barely lives. And then I mock Punch him, so I know I took it down. I just kind of forgot I needed to mock Punch first. Um, but yeah, in comes the Mega Pinsir again. He is going to take 50% of his HP, and he actually goes into yellow, which actually I think means that it's, um, it actually has an even amount of HP. So it's not, I don't think, um, it's not, uh, optimized for, uh, you know, level 50. Because I think if he's in yellow, it means at 50 HP. I might be wrong about that. Um, but that's pretty cool, because that means this thing can't switch back in, if that is true. But no, I'm going to go to my Tabu Lele. I am a Scarf Tabu Lele. He can't, obviously, even quick attack me. He's going to have to switch out. He goes into his Magearna. I go for a Psy Shock, knowing to do physical damage. I know it's resisted by Magearna as well, but I was still hoping, with the damage I got it on it earlier, it would be a 2 KO, and it just doesn't look like it would be. It would be very close, but I just, I can't afford to lose uh, Tabu Lele if I'm wrong. So I decided to switch out into my Victini here. And um, he is going to go ahead and Volt Switch, which is a good play, and back into his Zygarde, so... Not uh, what I really wanted. And if I would have gotten that extra Skull damage on there earlier, on that Magirna, I think I could have, you know, killed it, obviously, so... Oh, well. I'm just going to go for a Zen Headbutt against his full health Zygarde. I'm not expecting a kill, but it is being boosted by the terrain, so I'm like, let's just try to go for it. It's not like I really... I, I can't afford to switch out into anything. 
So I just pretty much have to let McTini die. Um, it does get some damage, but uh, just all it really does is give me another free switch and a tap of the leg. And um, I believe I just go for a Shy Shock again. He does have two steals to resist this, though, so that's not excellent. And um, I'm really just trying to set up a Tapu Lele counter sweep at this point. It's pretty much my best shot. And he's just going to go right back into Magearna. Now, I really should have stayed in and just killed Magearna here. I think I could have after the uh, Stealth Rock hit, but I just still wasn't even sure. I just wasn't sure. So I decided to go out into my um, Maw Wild. He's just going to go ahead and go for a Flur Cannon. Which is going to do a ton of damage, even, you know, well, I guess I don't have the resistance. I, no, I do have the resistance, that's great. Uh, Fairy doesn't, um, I don't know what I was thinking. No, I definitely have the resistance, but it still does a lot of damage, being in some freaking Flur Cannon. Uh, but now he does have minus two special attacks, so I was actually thinking he would switch. And I like to run Sing on my Mega Maw Wild, just kind of as a lulzy set. Unfortunately, he stays in, and I miss. And he has Hidden Power Fire, I assume. Um, it doesn't actually kill me, because, um, yeah, he has minus two special attack. But, uh... Yeah, I'm just going to go for a Sucker Punch now, hoping to kill it, and I don't, I, I, and I don't. And now he's going to Volt Switch, and now my Magirna is at low HP. He's going to go into his um, freaking uh, Rotom, and now I'm like, I don't even know what to do. I think I just tried to Sucker Punch again, but he ends up just burning me, which kind of sucks, and then I wise up and just play rough. So uh, that's going to do some damage to the Rotom. Really, I just want to get enough damage on this Rotom that I can feasibly kill it with... Um, tap the Lele, but I'm pretty much screwed at this point because um, I'm going to have to lock my. I can't afford to lock myself into Focus Blast, which I would need to do um, in order to kill the Magnazone. So I'm pretty much done. I, there's nothing I can really do. Unfortunately, I, I kind of screwed up my opportunity to set up a Tap the Lele kind of sweep. And uh, yeah, Joey's going to go ahead and take it as soon as my Magir. Uh, yeah, as soon as my um, Mega Mawile dies, then uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can do. He's going to go into his Magirna. Um, he did get rid, and he made a very good play there going for the Defog. So he got rid of the Stealth Rock, which means he can actually go into um, Mega Pinster again. So that was the one thing that was actually keeping me from going for Focus Blast on my uh, uh, Tapu Lele. But the fact that he um, got rid of it, I know I can't kill with Focus Blast on the Pinster now. Because it has the X4 resistance, and it's going to come in at half HP. Now, if it you know only had 1 HP or no HP, then it wouldn't be a problem. But that was a really great play, actually going for that Defog. Because um, it's going to be able to secure him the win. So, um, yeah, good game there, uh, Joey Fontaine. And today's question of the day is going to be... If you learned the move Hidden Power in real life, like you had some hidden power, what type would make the most sense for you? As for me, it would probably be something like Steel or Electric, because I am a computer scientist, so that would just make sense. I've just kind of always been you know, kind of innate with technology. So um, that would probably be my hidden power. So leave a comment about that, and see you guys again next time. Later, y'all.